Hello, I'm United States Senator Saxby Chambliss, and it's a pleasure to serve you in the United States Senate. We are constantly looking at ways to communicate in a direct way with our constituents. So what we're going to do today is to talk about some issues that are currently being debated in Washington and put these, uh, this communication on YouTube so that you can have direct access to it and you will know exactly where I stand on issues that are important to you. This week we have been debating the Financial Regulatory Reform Bill for the second week. I've been very much involved in the debate on this bill because the Committee on Agriculture has jurisdiction over the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, which in turn has jurisdiction over all swaps and derivatives, all contracts on farmers' products as well as energy contracts and contracts on, on uh, products such as metals. So we have been debating various amendments on the floor, and I'll have to be honest with you, I am not very pleased with the direction in which this bill is going. Republicans have had numerous amendments that have been offered to what I think is a very bad bill to start with. Every single one of those amendments has been defeated. That's not the way that we should be operating around here. We need to be operating in a more bipartisan way. We'll have to see where this bill goes over the next few days, but at the present time it's divided up into three areas. One, government regulation. Two, the issue of swaps and derivatives. And three, the consumer portion of the bill and the creation of the Consumer Finance Protection Authority. I really don't like any of the three provisions in the base bill from the standpoint of the way they were reported out of committee and came to the floor. I truly hoped that we would be able to come up with some amendments that would make this very bad bill better, but at this point in time, that's simply not the case. From a derivatives and swap standpoint, as I said, I've been very much involved because of the jurisdiction of the Committee on Agriculture. I offered a major amendment on Wednesday that was very uh, hotly debated. It was a very good, reasonable, common sense amendment that would seek to address the issues on Wall Street that helped participate in the meltdown of 2008. But also, it would not put the community banks in Georgia as well as other states across the country in the same category as the Wall Street banks. That's where the greed took place, and that's what we need to address from the standpoint of trying to put additional regulations in place or tools in the hands of the regulators. We don't need to interrupt commerce and the free market operation of our community banks, but I'm afraid this bill is headed in that direction. We'll see where it goes next week. Another issue that we have received an awful lot of phone calls about is the issue of the Arizona immigration law. Now let me tell you what I think about where we are with respect to immigration reform. Number one, until and unless the federal government secures the borders of our country, we have no business discussing or debating any immigration reform bill. We tried this back in 2007. We thought we had a commitment of the federal government to truly secure the border, and if that had happened, maybe by this point in time, we could look at other issues relative to immigration. But very frankly, our borders are not secure. We are, st we are still seeing too many illegals cross that border and work their way into various states, such as our state of Georgia. Arizona has a very unique problem because it is a border state. The federal government has an obligation to secure the border between the state of Arizona and Mexico. That should not be, is not, a responsibility of the state of Arizona. But the fact is the federal government has abdicated its authority and its responsibility of securing this border. The people of Arizona have asked the federal government time and time again to secure that border but the federal government has not responded in a positive way. Therefore, the legislature in Arizona took it upon themselves to say if the federal government is not going to do this, then we're going to put some tougher immigration laws on the books. I'm a firm believer in states' rights. 
I don't think the federal government should tell Georgia what to do if it's a, a local issue that's up for discussion, nor do I think the federal government should dictate to Arizona what it should do, particularly in this case where the federal government is not carrying out its responsibility. I think that there should be no need for the Arizona legislature, uh, legislature to pass this law, and if the federal government had done what should have been done, they would not have passed that law. But the fact is, the federal government has not secured the border. Arizona has decided to move in a direction that addresses the concerns of the people of Arizona, and I support their right to do that, and I will continue to support that right. This is a critical issue. There are others that we've received some phone calls about, and as we see the interest of people across Georgia on a weekly basis, we'll respond to those issues, and we'll be back on YouTube with you again next week. In the meantime, please call our office with respect to anything that's on your mind, whether it's something we're doing in Washington, or for that matter, something we're not doing that we ought to be doing. Again, thank you for giving me the privilege to serve you. God bless you and may God bless America.